Welcome, this is the energy vibration reading for all the Taurus and Moon and Rising. I want to say thank you for being here, thank you for being back, thank you for your wonderful, wonderful support, you Tauruses. And I want to say to each and every person out there, if this is your first time, um, please subscribe to this channel, please support us by subscribing. This month of September is going to be the month of the Wheel of Fortune, the month of the Wheel of Fortune, and you guys also receive the energy vibration of. Of the wheel of fortune so this is going to be a wonderful experience for you guys the energy of the wheel of fortune is a luck and success is coming in for some people you luck and success but yet the luck um, and destiny also it is the wheel of destiny it is a wheel of fortune what is happening for you Taurus is also in the month of September is that a lot of luck with money is going to come in because you have the wheel of fortune and you have I think the ten of Pentacles so this is going to be extremely wonderful whenever a month you get receive anytime a reading is there with the wheel of fortune and ten of Pentacles that means a lot of you people are going to receive a lot of money coming in this money can be an air finesse because the wheel of fortune that means is something that was um, not released if um, in the past and it's going to be coming back uh, the wheel of fortune is bringing you all this financial endeavor so you can have um, insurance payout tax um, payout you can have um, a lot of wonderful wonderful payout that you weren't experiencing okay so the wheel of fortune the zodiac energy is going to be the energy of the heart in the first two weeks and you have the wheel of fortune and I should honestly say that all these four weeks is a positive energies for you Taurus and so it's going to be a positive and a wonderful time for you guys so, okay um, we're going forward loyalty is is so there here and now is so here so it is going to be positive I am asking my angels and guides your focus for this month whatever the situation is your focus for this month is going to be the energy of the chariot so congratulations ladies and gentlemen you have victoriously overcome whatever situation that was happening in your life you have the energy of the chariot and the energy of the chariot is a wonderful energy because you'll be moving forward moving away from certain aspects and certain things in your life you'll be going on a new journey and a new part because uh, the wheel of fortune has the number one energy also because the wheel of fortune is a duality energy which the wheel is always moving it's always moving forward only when it's moving backward is when you're going backward up an ill but a wheel of fortune with the chariot is a very very positive positive month for you Tauruses this is good because the first two weeks of the month is um, going to be a positive one because they are the energy vibration of the zodiac energy of um, the um, Virgos and this is going to be positive the first week is going to be a, an uh, emotional week the second week is going to be a balanced week the third week is going to be a, a energy of a, um, positive energy a positive situations coming in your life it's going to be a week of celebration the third week and the fourth week we have the energy vibration of going around in a circle and the energy of going around with a circle it's bringing you back things that was taken away from you so this is going to be positive in whatever sense you look at it it's going to be a positive um, situation okay let's move forward and ask the angels and guide and the spirit world the ascendance masters what other messages do you have for the Tauruses Sun Moon and Rising because I have been working a lot with um, the spirit world and uh, this is going to be um, a wonderful okay um, the princess of wands uh, so let's look and see what do we have in uh, the first week but let's first look at your energy vibration of um, the number that is going to come up that's a seven that's a ten that's a two whatever because um, the three what, what I'm seeing this is eight um, this is five so I'm seeing two nines and two eight the energy vibration for you guys is eight and nine 
eight and nine, eight and nine, eight and nine, the ten, eight, nine, and ten is the energy vibration for you, Taurus. Is eight, nine, and ten is the energy vibration for you, Taurus. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's happening in the first week. You have, um, loyal arts loyal arts so this is wonderful especially for you Taurus whatever is happening love is going to play a significant role you are going to see that people are being very loyal to you so whoever these people are and whoever in whatever situation that you're in it's positive you're ending the month of August and beginning the month of September and you are going to see that there is a lot of people who are around you and they're very loyal to you so whoever these people are they have such a positive experience they have such um, positive love within them for you and they have respect for you and loyalty because loyalty and respect is very important they both go together and in and this is going to um, show you um, the energy of uh, the night so for the people who are between the ages of 18 and 35 the first week is going to play a positive role in your life the judgment as a going judgment is the energy of the first week and what this is happening for you is that the judgment is bringing you a positive message they're letting you know that people are very loyal to you very extremely loyal to you and what is going to happen is that through the loyal the the loyalty um, that people place a role in your life uh, they are going to show you by money will be coming in slowly and surely whatever your bills and the needs of uh, your bills to be paid whatever financial help you need whatever um, situation that you need to be ill through a financial situation people are going to be very loyal to you and help you in this situation okay a lot of money will be coming in to you Tauruses and especially for people between the ages of 18 and 25 you're going to realize that people around you are very loyal to you another situation that is here is that uh, with that loyalty and the Knight of Pentacles bringing you the Nine of Pentacles accomplishment and accomplishment. The Nine of Pentacles is really an energy when money is going to come to you that you weren't expecting. Um, um, this can be in several different way that people are going to help you the universe are going to send loyalty people to you people who really really it's as if you have a book and you you try to get this book out and then um, uh, just in the midst of nothing the book started selling and you wanted oh my god but I have this book so long on the market and it wasn't happening and out of the blues your book started selling these are people who are loyal to you these are people who know that you were trying to do something that is very positive whatever the situation is you're going to see that if there was some money that was kept away from you in this month of September it's going to come back to you in full circles and, and I mean really really full circles in the second week we have the energy vibration of a shift the number five energy number 32 it says uh, here and now whatever is happening in this week don't think of the past neither the future think every moment in the second week here and now it doesn't really matter whatever happened um, years ago or whatever whatever is going to happen tomorrow it's all about what is happening right now at this moment when we live in right now at this moment and we create what we will like to have right now at this moment it comes up in the future so we need to learn because when this energy comes up because it says here and now and then the wheel of fortune comes so what this is teaching you is how to manifest it is saying I need to have okay I, I really really need to have a new place I really hope for a new place that sort of a thing or, or I really hope for a better job that sort of a thing I really hope that new doors of opportunity I'm open to find the love of my life that sort of a thing that is what you're hoping for now and what ha what is going to happen in this week is that a wheel of fortune 
fortune is going to take your wishes and dreams to another level and you're going to see that uh, whatever you had a hope for here and now um, it's coming in the future towards you and this is very good so this week is going to be a week of learning um, the energy of the eight of Pentacles is a lot of hard work but it's going to be a week of learning because whatever you are um, doing in this week is going to bring you success in the years to come because let me um, show you this is the energy vibration let me see if I can do it another way yeah this is the energy vibration that wheel of fortune with hard work with thinking of the here and now and planning for the here and now you are going to see that the wheel of fortune is bringing you the eight of Pentacles because it are already working and it's as if your angels and guides are listening to you so it's a week of learning how to manifest things and by manifesting things in this week by the end of the month you are going to see what is going to be coming to you and it's going to be wonderful okay it's 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 not a question it's going to be wonderful as I've said, you know, this is the second week. It's good for you, Tauruses. The third week is going to be as a really positive one. You have the Treasure Island. A lot of people keep on receiving this energy, the Treasure Island. So whatever is happening is that it's as if the universe is going to open up so um, um, a door to wonderful new opportunities and a financial endeavor coming in okay and this is something that is very good because you have the treasure island which is number nine three threes is nine and you have the three of cups which is a celebration and a lot of people will be celebrating something a cruelty something that has happened to you someone some people are going to celebrate against an injustice that has happened to you with this injustice it's bring you to a place where you're going to find treasures and it's as if and an, an example an example is as if you got you know you were you were treated mishandled you know at your work that sort of a thing and it was so horrible whatever it had happened and it doesn't have to be at your work it can be with other family members it can be a divorce and that sort of a thing it can be with a relationship you were in a bad relationship and that sort of a thing and you felt so mishandled and that sort of a thing and maybe it went to the justice or the legal system or other people um, start looking at what what had happened because they found something very strange and they start looking what exactly happened to this person and then um, they're going to find out a huge injustice had happened to this person and with this huge injustice of cruelty whatever the nine of swords what has ha happened to you um, you are going to be rewarded with financial um, support okay so whatever it is is as if you um, were cruel cruelly mistreated um, there is going to be and 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 healing of this and um, you will be receiving money and this money take it say thank you to the universe say thank you to your guides and angel take it and use it to better yourself take it and use it to heal the same other people who have gone through what situation you have gone through to reach this point because sometimes when we go through all the things in our life that is when we find true in a peace that we can turn around and help someone else because we know that we have gone through the same thing okay and this is this is a positive thing this is what I've said to a lot of people um, I've gone through things that makes me um, reach the point that I've chose to help other people because I'm sure there are millions of people out there that would need someone to just talk to to just you know let their heart flow and this is what has happened whatever cruelty that you have gone through in the past it's going to bring you financial reward and this financial reward help it and use it to help others who are in need okay I always even if I don't have it sometimes I'm always given um, because or I'm always helping someone because that's my character and yeah sometimes it's not good because people uh, use you um, because they know that your heart is open and you, but it's okay because uh, um, um, whatever you give out that is what you receive and even if people try um, to um, 
take disadvantage of who you are there's always someone else that will see um, this happening and they will give an help in and okay we all need to help out each other in some ways so as we move on to the fourth week we have round and round round and world so whenever this energy comes up this round and round round and round that means um, a, a lesson was not learned and honestly when this if I'm looking at the cards for myself and I see this come up I'm always oh god okay what is the lesson that I haven't learned and this is always um, a situation when as if um, you met someone you know that the person is not being honest but yet still you still open up yourself to them and you feel it within your soul and know it within your soul that the person is not uh, of an eye energy vibration but yet still you are um, having no judgmental and you're still opening up yourself to this person and uh, um, it is a situation that you have had before because you um, have um, been hurt in the past and this is what I've said and a lot of people will just use um, uh, take advantage of situation with me because they know that I'm a very um, open-hearted person that I'm you know I'm always open to help a lot of people and people take disadvantage of the situation so I had to learn um, to say no and had to learn to you know close off uh, that aspect of myself but yet still give and take and balance so every time I get this card because I never learn because I or you know people and I give myself as an example because I never speak about other people I give myself as an example um, I'm always getting this card whenever I know that someone is not being honest and someone is not being upfront and uh, um, I keep on relearning this lessons and I'm thinking yeah but I have to help people yeah I, I don't have to help everyone you know I can help the people who truly honestly needs it and then I will learn the lesson you know so uh, the, the around around energy is the energy so it's a step but in this case it's going to bring you back something something that it was a loss something that was stolen from you and for some people is as if uh, uh, the same thing cruelty things was taken away from you that was injustice and this round and round is very positive in this moment because it's bringing some of you back something that was stolen and you're now you're finally seeing clearly whatever had happened in your life so this round and round is going to affect people as lessons that have not been um, understood of learn and this round and round is going to bring you back money something that was stolen say for instance there was money that was supposed to paid say for instance your parents died and they didn't pay you say for instance they tried to steal whatever that your parents had left you or you know you're having a situation with people in your life your brothers and sisters and siblings who didn't give you your share of the money um, you know this can be um, for some people who parents died and uh, they had a trust fund and this sort of a thing so it's round and round it's coming back to you whatever that was stolen and it doesn't have to be money it can be properties also it can be monetary aspect uh, whatever that has been stolen it's as if the universal angels and the gods and goddesses have divinely intervened so let whatever that was taken away from you be returned to you so it doesn't have to be it can be a letter that was lost it can be information that was lost it can be things that were you weren't aware of now you're finally having clarity to those things okay it's going to be a wonderful all four weeks in this month is going to be wonderful you begin with loyalty you have at the era now you have treasure island and you have round and round so whatever that was stolen from you guys is going to be return and I think this is basically the energy vibration of this reading for you guys is whatever that was stolen um, is going expected whatever was stolen be returned to you whatever was stolen from you uh, is going to be returned let's 
so um please remember and money is going to money is going to be a very significant and I I'm saying to you people you know you have the chariot you have uh, the wheel of fortune you have three very positive cards the chariot the wheel of fortune and the ten of Pentacles ladies and gentlemen boys and girl please buy the lottery in this month buy the lottery people whatever way you want to buy it buy the lottery it is a month where money is going to come to you so whatever the situation is buy the lottery okay let's see what is the love energies for the Tauruses in this month what is the love energies for the Tauruses in this month the love energies for the Tauruses in this month what is the love energy for the Tauruses in this month? There is, um, in the second week, there is a, a positive energy of love. In the rest of the month, it says as if um, the uh, the energy of uh, um, some people are going to be uh, seen as uh, achievers in the first week. A loyalty, people, accomplishment with the Nine of Pentacles, but yet still. Um, achievers that means people who have worked hard um, people are going to be successful there are people who are going to be talking about you uh, about the accomplishment that you have made for yourself which is a wonderful wonderful energies um, a lot of births a happy conversation fun dates so some people in the first week is going to have happy conversation fun dates with other people so this is going to be wonderful so in the form of love sometimes there's no energy vibration for the love in a month but some people are going to connect with have other people and have very happy conversation and if you're going out on a date it's going to be a fun date remember that your number is eight nine and ten okay as we look forward what other energies are here it's, it's actually a positive energies for your love relationship is it's, it's very positive we have um, some people in uh, the second week will have um, disappointment in their relationship they will feel disappointment and uh, um, unpleasant gathering for some people I mean um, disappointment can be in a relationship that what you were expecting from out of a relationship you haven't received that and um, some people can also have uh, um, a situation where there's unpleasant gathering um, there is situation and a lesson that you should learn unpleasant gathering is always like situation as if uh, there's a funeral that you had to go to not that the person is uh, um, who died is uh, from your own family but this this unpleasant thing can be a situation where you have to go to a funeral or an unpleasant gathering that is the memorial of someone that was passed away a lost thing okay so that's another situation that can happen in the love arena because uh, you actually know this person or you are connecting with people who are um, who are who are passing away that sort of a thing okay we have the energy vibration in the third week which is going to be the energy of uh, um, improvements okay improvements is going to be happening in your life there's a lot of number nine in the energy vibration there's a lot of number nine in the love energy vibration so the universal angels are calling out to you and wants to bring you in the other situation there's going to be improvement in some people love life in the third week but it's also going to be some people are going to release themselves from um, from their relationship release themselves from certain pressures in a relationship that's what they're going to do and some people are going to have a desire happiness and destiny so you know each and every week it affects you in certain aspect you know certain things happen we are there are thousands millions of you out there so some people it's going to be an improvement in your relationship in the third week in the second week uh, in the third week there can be also relief from some people from a pressured relationship and some people can be having the desire of happiness and destiny so this 
is extremely positive whatever the situation is it is extremely a positive situation that is happening in um, your life because a lot of changes are happening in your relationship as we move forward we are going to look and see what is happening for the fourth week in the love section what is happening in the fourth week for the love section and gambling on uh, uh, there is going to be a sort of a gambling and, and gambling in the sense that you're going to take action it's as if you have a good relationship at home but you have met someone and you're thinking um maybe you know maybe at home you you have a long-term partner that you have at home and there has been a lot of conflicts and that sort of a situation in your relationship a whole lot of conflicts and a whole lot of ups and downs and certain conflicts and certain situation that is happening in your life in your relationship so that's been going on for a time and you're going to take gambling and decide to set that relationship behind you and uh, um, it's a gamble you're taking because you have met someone else and you're thinking you know I need to really heal this part of my relationship I don't want to um, go on anymore because in this the third week you were thinking about releasing this relationship because you have met someone and you realize that this new person that you have met is uh, um, a positive positive situation and it's going to be a positive endeavor so the conflicts that you have at home you're now realizing that it is time that I move away from this conflicts and 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 choose a new part and you're going to take a gamble with someone who you have met or and um, someone who we have known for a long time and this is going to be a positive outcome for you this you know sometimes you have to take a gamble this is going to be whoever you are out there who is going to take a gambling with the princess of ones which is the energy vibration of the Leo the, um, Aries or Leo Aries or Sagittarius it's going to be a positive one okay take that gamble it is going to uh, turn out very positive so ladies and gentlemen let's move forward and see what's in your zodiac your um, um, your virtual energies okay all right so we're asking the vortex to show us what is the energies for the Taurus in the month of September and you have have I have the power to direct my own thoughts and that's true your thoughts do create the reality that you live in and one of the most exciting things about being beginning the process of a uh, the liberation force through though it is the law of attraction will bring you ex 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 evidence of your improved thoughts immediately and while an old pattern may be hard to break and you may slip back in the old pattern from time to time evidence of your effort will uh, be undeniable to you and before long with much less effort than you spend trying to dog a negative conversation or um, training and on another into a better behavior all of your relationship will improve so what they're trying to say is that whatever we do in our lives whatever we bring whatever relationship that comes in your life your thoughts do create the reality that you live okay and one of the most exciting things about beginnings is the process of the deliberating focus through the law of attraction so whatever you attract what do you attract I attract nice wonderful honest people to me I have always wanted to attract these sort of energies to me but it's for somehow it is uh, sometimes you receive it sometimes and I know why I receive certain um, energies is because I'm here not to attract and manifest uh, but to help others to heal themselves so and before long with a much less efforts than you spend trying to 
dog or negative conversation because you know we should never have negative conversation and sometimes we need to speak about certain things but speak about it and ask the universe to heal it and like if I speak about something that has an effect I am going to ask the universe to heal whatever is happening okay so that is one of the aspects that we need to work with I'm also working with the ascendance masters and working with the ascendance masters is a, a very positive I'm asking the ascendance master who is going to be governed the month of September for these Tauruses we have the gold and silver violet uh, the gold and silver coat this is a wonderful you have chosen this card of perfect harmony when you balance your wisdom and power giving and receiving your connection with the all of earth and the seventh heaven it offers you the courage to love this makes you magnetic to people animals and situation so that you can attract all that is for your eyes good your guidance is to bring yourself in harmony and balance then visualize yourself wearing the gold and silver coat so like I'm always you know whenever I'm in group of people I'm always asking Archangel um, Jovial to place the gold and silver coat over me so that you draw in angel synchrony to purify the energy around you expect the unexpected and miraculous things will happen so isn't this wonderful for you Tauruses this is just a perfect 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 um, endeavor for you Tauruses is good and your affirmation for this month you Tauruses is I am totally in balance and I'm in total balance and harmony I'm in total balance and harmony so whenever you feel as if you're slipping out in the negative aspect and the ego is coming in say I'm totally balanced and harmonious I'm totally balanced and harmonious and you will feel your energy vibration coming back okay we're going to look at what is happening for the atmospheric for um, the energy vibration for the Sun moon and rising sign let's see what is happening what planetary system is going to work for the Tauruses in the month of September for the Sun sign what is going to work for the moon sign what is going to work for the moon sign I tell you I'm um, Neptune the planet of and I've, I've been saying it to a lot a lot of people have been given this out and I've been saying it to a lot of people that the planetary aspect um, Neptunus of Neptune um, is coming in and working um, with a lot of moon people in the month of September and this is um, very positive because uh, it's the planet of the unseen it's a planet that holds the information from Atlantis and the time of Atlantis and what the was used in Atlantis all these information are coming out so let's see what zodiac sign is going to be working with the Sun sign people and what zodiac energies will be working with the moon sign people that is you know that is a wonderful what is happening and I will explain to you what is happening I've realized that a lot of um, the Virgos and Leos or the a sign is coming the energy vibration of the Sun sign people the Sun the um, Taurus said moon and rising people you have to work with the planet of uh, um, mm -hmm. Wow, Saturnus, Saturnus. Oh, oh my gosh, your life is going to be turned upside down, you sun people, because Saturn, 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 Saturnus, Saturnus, your life is going to turn upside down, you Saturnus. Your life is really going to turn upside down. The energy of the Taurus, your own energy vibration, is going to come in. It can be other people who have um, the 
Sun, Moon, and Rising sign of Taurus is coming in to help you, and you have the energy of also the Cancers who are coming in to help you. So some Tauruses are going to realize that in relationships you're going to be connecting with some Cancer. Some Tauruses are going to end a relationship and release themselves from a relationship with Cancers, but the energy vibration of all the Taurus is coming in it's going to be wonderful because they're going to be helping you to reorganize your life because Saturn comes in and when Saturn is in your birth chart may God help you whenever Saturn is a, um, the planet Saturn is, is helping you um, trust me your whole life is going to be changed ladies and gentlemen so be aware of what is happening because there is a serious situation that is about to take place in the month of September oh my gosh Saturn is it, it, it will change you people okay I have had it's my ruling planet and I've had it in my life and I'm telling you ladies and gentlemen it is not one of the most wonderful planets to have in your birth chart or ruling planet okay let's look at the lunar people and what do we have we have the uh, the planet of Neptune the unseen world the unseen world is going to be working with you lunar people so the unseen world so what is happening is that your spirit guides are going to be coming up your spirit guides are into get galactic and beams the cosmic family and all these entities and energies are going to be working with you through your sleep time they say and um, through the days so this is going to be wonderful whatever the situation is the Neptune um, energy vibration and uh, um, the energy vibration of uh, um, Virgos the Virgos are going to come in to help you um, Tauruses which is wonderful that's your sister sign and we have the Gemini's and actually um, the Tauruses and the Gemini's have very good relationship that's a good balanced relationship and why that is is because the Gemini's the Tauruses have birthday before the Gemini so they are kind of borderline with each other but yet still they kind of understand because one is um, the energy of the bull and the other is the energy of love so there is a kind of weird balancing out you know it's as if uh, the Gemini's are tame and the bull and this is good these are good relationship ex ex experience to have balanced relation experiences to have okay so ladies and gentlemen boys and girl it has been a wonderful experience but um we have to end this reading and i want to say to each and every person it's going to be a beautiful week please remember by the lottery there's a lot of people who are looking for financial help out there universe always provide you just have to know when by the lottery don't mail me for the lottery numbers because i can't do that okay it's against um the goddesses <laughs> and um you are going to be victorious and successful no matter what is happening a triumph is going to come out of the situation whatever is happening around you and you need to understand that you are the one who um um make the changes in your life and um whatever you think the positive thoughts that is what is going to come back to you i am saying have a wonderful month i will speak to you next month and namaste